I don't take a photograph unless I'm working on a project. I, I'm with the exception. Is that right? Yeah, no. I, if I'm not working on a photo, <laughs> project, I don't take a photograph. I only take photographs for the projects I'm, I'm working on. I like that. So I've, I've been taking photographs in my head since I was a kid. You know, I uh -huh. just never did it until I was shit. I think I was like, I was forty when I started, and. Uh, and I just found I, found, I found, I found my style right away. I found a style that was my style and I decided, okay, I'm gonna work on honing the skill of my style of photographing. That is, that is like my voice. I, you know, you say I found my voice as a photographer right away. For me as a photographer, uh, pr the printing is actually as important to me as taking the photograph mm -hmm. because as a photographer the way I work is that uh, first I get the idea of what I'm gonna work with or what project is gonna be then I travel or go to a space or an area where um, where the project takes place and I look around I get ideas then I go out and shoot and uh, then I edit, and then I print. The way it started actually was that I, I was in LACC as a, as a uh, you know film major, major, and I was going to be the mess, next Ingmar Bergman and, and all that bullshit. And and I don't like working with other people. Uh, <laughs> because I just want everybody to do what I say. And you can't uh, do that in, in film school because everybody wants to be the next Steven Spielberg and blah, blah, blah. And everybody has an opinion and I don't want to hear anybody else's opinion because, mm -hmm. of course, my opinion is the only one that's right, you know. Like, you know, you have to do something, you have to get 10 people or 20 people together to go do it. And that drives me a little crazy. I had to take a, a photo 10 uh, as a prerequisite to my cinema photography uh, certificate. And that's the, that was it. I was like, oh, I can just, it's just me and the camera mm -hmm. and nobody else. And I can do whatever I want to do. And I don't have to get 10 people together. Or I can just go out and photograph kiosks in parking lots or whatever. And I, I just I just really found what, what I uh, like to do. And I, and I switched majors. And then... Uh, um, and the rest is history. I did a show in Reykjavik at the Biennial in 2010. <coughs> that, uh, where I shot the neighborhood I grew up in. Uh, my grandparents still live there, so when I go to Iceland, I stay with my grandparents in my old neighborhood. And uh, nobody photographs it because everybody photographs downtown, the old town, all that stuff. And, and I like to photograph st areas and, and, and just things that other people don't like to photograph. And the Paris kind of fell into that category in a way because everybody shoots the French Quarter in New Orleans, the graveyards and stuff like that. So here's an area for me that's actually very big. There's a lot of landscapes. It's very stark and, and I, I, my, my, my photography is very stark. <coughs> so it fit in all these categories that I like to work in. And uh, it's also an area where people don't photograph. And nobody's done a project on the parish. And so, yeah, I did. I, I, you know, I lived there for like three years and, and absolutely love it. I think it's a fantastic place to live. This is uh, the Paris. And uh, this is the, these are C prints that I printed myself, old school. So this is what's gonna be in the, in the show. Uh, here's my favorite place. Rocky and Carlos, man, love that place. What's the name of it? It's a Rocky and Carlos. It's ladies invited, you know. It's a restaurant, and uh, it's the heart and soul of Saint Bernard Parish. I like oh. empty spaces and, and, and minimalism. You know, uh, my photographs are, for the most part, very minimalistic. I, th I photograph minimalistically because it, uh, I, you know, I, I took very Early, I took to four by five uh, because, and this is also why I shoot film. It slows you down. 
it makes you think about what you're shooting and the work you're doing it uh and the way i shoot is actually almost zen like i shoot on this camera like i'm shooting on a four by five that's how, how that's how i work i really look at what i shoot i take my time sometimes it takes me half an hour to get a photograph <laughs> Yeah, but the thing is, I get the photograph I'm looking for because I take my time.